Like this, of course. Another <laughs> race hoax? Let me know if you can hear me in the chat, by the way. Um, fairly decently. Pretty sure you can. Criminals who targeted auto shop with white supremacist graffiti turn out to be two Blakes. <laughs> yeah, there's the camera footage. The criminals who repeatedly targeted auto shop in Spring Lake, North Carolina, by leaving racist graffiti referencing the KKK and Nazis turn out to be two Blake men after the owner caught them on camera. Business owner Dwayne Hainsworth, who's Blake, uh, <laughs> took action after having a car sold stolen off his lot and then discovering the racist graffiti which included drawing of a swastika um that's appropriating like east asian culture you wathis anyway uh after setting up the security cameras that same night the criminals returned and broke into more vehicles before smashing windows and attempting to hotwire one of the cars yeah carjacking car shopping that sort of thing is the you, you really only have to deal with that when you're dealing with diversity, you know, wonderful diversity that shit libs vote for and then move away from when they get it. Um, you know, let's just check out some of this footage story here. Before hours after a business owner installed security cameras, vandals returned to this auto repair shop teams. to do even more damage. <laughs> but now they're on camera. You can see the two men going through vehicles here. WRL's Gilbert Bays broke this story yesterday. He joins us live at the business in Spring Lake with this new development. Gilbert. Hey, Lena, you know, photojournalist Mike Joyner and I were here yesterday when those cameras were being installed and they captured those two uh, individuals standing Blakes. right about here. And uh, it, we, it shows them going into this vehicle and kind of rummaging through here. And then let that me take you down you, here yeah. because they also went into this vehicle over here and um, the footage shows them here we, here we, pulling here we, this up here we go. as well they and going here. through the back of this vehicle right here. The only thing you. this time around, though, Don't they didn't go. know that they were being recorded. <laughs> So that's when they first walked up. See, the owner of this auto repair shop at Spring Lake says this is video of a crime in progress. Thomas Hainsworth put up security cameras yesterday. He says for the past three weekends, someone has been vandalizing vehicles at his lot on Highway 210. So last night, the cameras caught two men rummaging through several vehicles. The owner thinks they were trying to steal cars. See, that's like they were trying to same with this vehicle. Car here. shopping. They were trying to hotwire it or something. Could you see them looking on their phone, probably trying to find YouTube of how to crank the vehicle. But this, like I said, this one don't crank. That one does. But I guess they couldn't figure out how to do it. The owner thinks this handsaw and tire tool were used to break glass and scratch car windshields. The graffiti we showed yesterday is still on <clears> vehicles, <throat> but this is new damage from last night. The owner says the two men smashed the driver's side window of this Honda and punched a hole in the back window of this Infinity. Both vehicles were Total previously damaged. Boom the moment. investigation and this new video are now in the hands of the Spring Lake Police Department. And the investigators came out that last racist. night. And, you know, this could have been some of the evidence right here. Told that this was inside one of the vehicles. Yeah, that's evidence. That evidence racist, though. And the individuals were seen on camera actually smoking this blunt right here. Yeah, blunt. Spring Lake police didn't take this. They did go around and look at some of the vehicles, but were also told that they did not take any fingerprints on any of the vehicles out here. <laughs> Lena, coming up at 545, we're going to tell you exactly what the police chief in Spring Lake said about why they did not take the fingerprints. Yeah. Why didn't they take the fingerprints, Kitty? Um, so what, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. Like, why? I mean, so they came through and tried to put a fake swastika on this person's business and then came back. Like, what? They didn't get the result they wanted and came back and did some car shopping, carjacking. Like, what kind of... Red <laughs> and then the fucking black and mild left is the evidence. <laughs> it's just, like, lots of different, you know, and the fingers prints, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lots, lots of check boxes are getting checked here. <laughs> anyway...